Rose de Silva frantically searches for her daughter Sharon, finding her sleepwalking by a waterfall and nearly falling off a cliff, screaming silent hell upon awakening. Ignoring her husband Chris's concerns, Rose takes Sharon to Silent Hill, hoping to unlock her dreams about the town despite its eerie past of a devastating fire 30 years ago in West Virginia. Arriving at Braham's gas station near Silent Hill, Rose sees Sharon's altered drawings depicting people in flames within buildings. Sharon denies altering them, noticed by a cop. The officer engages with Sharon, who refuses to talk to strangers. Rose learns from the station attendant that the road to Silent Hill is closed, and her credit card has declined, so she pays in cash instead and calls Chris, asking for his trust. Ignoring further attempts by the cop to converse, Rose leaves quickly, but the cop notes their license plate. Later, near Silent Hill, they're stopped by the same cop. Rose evades the officer by speeding towards Silent Hill, breaking through a gate, and eventually crashing the car after avoiding a figure on the road. Rose wakes up with a head bump, realizes Sharon is missing, and exits the car into a town called Silent Hill, noticing the unusual black snow. After hearing an air raid siren, she follows a Sharon lookalike into a dark, eerie underworld, where she encounters unsettling scenes and ghostly children. Despite being attacked, she finds a door and escapes, screaming. Waking up in an abandoned bowling alley with Ring of Fire playing, she finds no sign of the gray children. Despite her wounds suggesting otherwise, the setting feels almost dreamlike. Escaping to the streets searching for someone, she encounters a vast chasm severing Silent Hill from the outside world. Confronted by Delia Gillespie, a disheveled woman, she learns cryptic truths about the town's lost children. Delia claims a locket picture of Rose's daughter is her own, leading to a brief altercation before Rose flees, haunted by Dahlia's ominous words about her daughter's fate in the fires. Chris arrives at a gas station to inquire about his missing wife from the mechanic, Ron Gabriel, offering a bribe for information. Meanwhile, Rose discovers photos linked to Silent Hill and decides to head there, but her attempt to communicate with Chris is thwarted by static on his cell phone. As Chris tries to follow her, he navigates through police blockades, eventually encountering Detective Thomas Gucci, who assures him that Officer Sybil Bennett, known for a heroic act, is likely with Rose, ensuring her safety. Officer Sybil handcuffs Rose, who tries to warn her of danger in the town, but Sybil dismisses her concerns, sharing a story of a past rescue mission in the mines. They only receive static when they return to Sybil's overturned motorcycle to call for help. Moving on, they encounter a chasm where a monstrous creature with gray skin and no arms emerges, attacking Sybil with acid. Sybil defends herself, eventually killing the creature. Seizing the moment, Rose flees back to town, still handcuffed. She discovers a map on a lamppost, which leads her to Midwich Elementary School. There, Rose finds a set of keys granting access to the school's doors and drawers and equips herself with a flashlight from one of the drawers, ready to delve deeper into the town's mysteries. In a clear and fog-free Silent Hill, Chris is driven by Gucci, who uses the P.A. system to call out for Rose, rejecting Chris's offer to speak instead. Meanwhile, Rose, exploring the school, encounters imposing miners and finds a classroom with a witch carved into a desk. Inside, she discovers Alessa Gillespie's journal, revealing Alessa's past mockery by classmates. Following the vision of a girl, Rose enters a bathroom and finds a dead janitor named Colin entangled in barbed wire. A message on the wall challenges her to retrieve a hotel key from Colin's mouth. After obtaining the key to the Grand Hotel, Room 111, she narrowly escapes the approaching miners, locking the door with her key set as the miners' canary signals danger, prompting them to flee. After the miners retreat, a siren triggers the transformation of the school's walls into a hellish version. Rose is chased by Colin, who now animates and creates human-faced cockroaches. The insects attack the miners, while Rose encounters a giant man with a pyramid helmet wielding a massive knife. He attacks her, causing her to fall two stories outside. She flees to another school wing and collapses by lockers. Meanwhile, Chris and Detective Gucci search the normal-looking school in daylight. Chris senses Rose's presence near the lockers, claiming to feel and smell her perfume, but Gucci dismisses this and urges him to move on. Rose, in distress, is rescued by Sybil and taken to a boiler room. 
Sybil removes Rose's handcuffs just before they're attacked by Bugs and a pyramid head demon, who tries to break in. Sybil fights off the monster until the environment normalizes. Once safe, Sybil reloads her gun, and Rose shares the importance of the hotel key. They head to the Grand Hotel, finding it conflict-free, unlike Silent Hill's records, which Chris discovers are non-existent or sealed. At the hotel, they encounter Delia being attacked by Anna, who then preaches to Sybil and Rose. Rose inquires about Sharon, leading Anna to show a religious symbol. Sybil finds keys and a drawing indicating Sharon's art, prompting an urgent search for room 111. At night, Chris breaks into Braham's town archives and discovers Silent Hill files, including a report on a victim named Alessa Gillespie. Shocked by Alessa's resemblance to Sharon, he finds an address related to Alessa through a phone call. Rose, Sybil, and Anna search for room 111, hidden behind a picture of the town's first witch burning, revealing its history of witch hunters. Inside room 111, a storage closet, they find a hole leading to another building. Sybil and Rose jump through, losing the knife, and leave Anna behind. Chasing a vision of Alessa slash Sharon, Rose finds her on the edge of a pit in the mines, where Alessa appears to burst into flames before disappearing. The trio reunites and rushes to the town church as the siren blares, signaling impending darkness. Delia warns against seeking refuge with the townspeople calling them deceitful and doomed. Despite Anna's hostility towards Delia, Sybil restrains her. Rose seeks answers from Delia about their situation and Alessa's desires but receives only a cryptic warning about the consequences of their choices. As darkness engulfs the town, Sybil and Rose take refuge inside the church just as Pyramid Head gruesomely kills Anna. Inside, the congregation initially accuses Rose of witchcraft until Sybil's gunshot restores order. Christabella, the church leader, absolves Rose and Sybil of the blame for Anna's fate, uniting the congregation in prayer for protection against the darkness and proclaiming that only those in the Book of Life will be spared eternal damnation. Chris visits the Toluca County Orphanage to learn about Sharon's history but faces resistance from a nun. His confrontation is interrupted by Detective Gucci, who arrests Chris for the earlier break-in. Gucci discusses the ambiguous nature of justice and reveals his burned hands, hinting at a past event. He then informs Chris that he will be sent back to his home state with a stern warning not to return. In Silent Hill, Christabella tells Rose that faith is necessary to find Sharon and survive, likening a mother's role to godliness in a child's eyes. Skeptical, Rose is led by Christabella and protected by minors to Brookhaven Hospital, where they're told the demon resides in room B151. Given a flashlight, despite the risk of attracting monsters, Rose studies a hospital map while miners open an elevator to the wards. When Christabella attempts to return Rose's locket and sees Sharon's picture, she accuses Rose of witchcraft. Rose flees into the elevator with Sybil's protection. Sybil incapacitates a miner and activates the elevator, separating from Rose. Attempting to defend herself, Sybil finds her gun empty and is overpowered by the miners as Christabella watches with satisfaction. Rose descends deep into a hospital, reaching the B floor, where she encounters motion-sensitive nurses with knives. Using her flashlight, she realizes light triggers their movement. She carefully navigates through them, eventually causing the nurses to attack each other by manipulating the light. Freeing herself, Rose drops the flashlight, runs, and successfully finds and opens the targeted room's door. Alessa reveals the truth to Rose about her past, showing her being bullied and hinting at a traumatic encounter with Colin the janitor. Desperate for acceptance, Alessa faces further betrayal when the town, influenced by Christabella, deems her a sin due to her unknown paternity. Despite her mother Dahlia's objections, Alessa is condemned and severely burned in a ritual gone wrong, leading to a catastrophic fire. Surviving but scarred, Alessa's hatred intensifies, eventually granting her supernatural powers. Nurse Lisa becomes an unintended victim of Alessa's newfound abilities. In room B151, Rose encounters an aged Alessa, cared for by Lisa, who lacks eyes and is covered in blood. A young girl appears, claiming she has many names and explaining Sharon represents Alessa's remaining goodness, now targeted by Christabella. Alessa merges with Rose, aiming to confront Christabella with the truth. Meanwhile, 
Sharon hides in the Nathan Motel but is captured by Dahlia and the miners. Concurrently, skeptical of Gucci's promises to continue the search for Rose and Sharon, Chris is dropped off at his car and leaves. At the church, under daylight, Sybil faces execution by fire on Christabella's orders but fails to sway the crowd, who proceed to burn her alive. When they aim to burn Sharon next, Rose dramatically enters, attempting to halt their actions. Confronted by Christabella, Rose is stabbed, but this act triggers a supernatural event. Rose's blood turns dark, and darkness consumes the church as it spreads. A vengeful Alessa emerges from this darkness using barbed wire, unleashing her fury on the townspeople with deadly precision. Rose, miraculously healed by Alessa's power, advances towards Sharon, reaching her amidst the chaos. Alessa continues her wrathful purge, while Dahlia, in horror, witnesses the transformation and actions of her daughter, lamenting the horror she has unleashed. Alessa appears just as Christabella is killed by barbed wire, celebrating in the aftermath. Rose and Sharon, trying to block out the horror, escape upwards, and Rose reassures Sharon that it's all a bad dream. However, Sharon encounters Alessa's intense gaze. The following morning, a disheartened Chris returns home. Rose and a strangely serene Sharon leave the church, confronted by Delia. Delia questions why Alessa spared Rose, who cites a mother's love as pivotal. The interaction suggests that Sharon has now merged with Alessa. Rose and her daughter return to their car, and Rose attempts to call home. Christopher hears only static while Rose assures them they'll be home soon. They drive through the fog, past Sybil's motorcycle, and past a chasm that mysteriously repairs itself as they proceed. Rose and Sharon navigate through fog, reaching their home where Chris is asleep, bathed in sunlight. Sharon engages with toys inside as Rose settles in a chair across from the couch where Chris lies. Upon waking, Chris explores the house, feeling Rose's presence but residing in a separate reality. Drawn to the open door by the possibility of reuniting with his family, he rushes outside, only to find solitude with his car parked outside, a poignant reminder of their parallel existences. Although Rose and Sharon share the same space as Christopher, they remain invisible to each other. They evidently exist in a different reality or dimension, surrounded by fog. Their venture into Silent Hill resulted in this shift to another plane of existence.